Hey guys, welcome back to Barbecue Beer Brothers. Today, right there, I got another little surprise. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now there's another tray, and right now we're running a counterbalance for it. Okay. That's how you use a counterbalance, folks. Get it in there. It acts like there's plenty of weight there. And you see it just turns perfectly fine. So with so much going on, we've, we really thought I would go through some of the upgrades, mods, and thought I would put a whole review together for what I think about this 1050. Can I do that in four or five minutes? Can I do that in 10, 20, 30? I'm sure I could talk an hour to this thing. I have a couple buddies that are really interested in my thoughts on this. They're really interested in buying one of these, but they know I'm gonna push this thing um, to its limits. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. And so I'm just gonna jump right in. Here we go. The factory controller, it sucks. I hate it. There's absolutely nothing good about it. You, you guys that like it and are tolerable with it, you're tolerable your tolerance is a lot better than mine sorry that's is what it is i don't care though right so let's be careful let's be careful with my thoughts on this because i really don't care that it doesn't work well because i had bought it knowing that i wasn't going to use it i was going to put the fireboard on it i want more meat probes and i want more control um, and the flexibility that i get with the fireboard over um, the factory controller so will it upgrade will it be better probably do i care not really i'm not going to use it on this thing um, the rain guard, everybody, buy a cover, buy a cover. Not gonna buy a cover, folks. It's just not gonna happen. I'll show you what I did is I actually went and put some um, L channel along the backside, kind of what I talk, talked about in my original comparison between the two. I went ahead and put an L channel, some high heat um, gasket, uh, liquid gasket um, behind it. I also cut a lid, um, uh, lid hinge extender brace. Um, out of the same material, it was like $7 at Home Depot. I think I spent more on the sealant, which was like $6 or $7 for it and $6 for the rail, something like that. But less than $20, easy fix. We got three quarters of an inch of rain and um, nothing inside. It's fantastic. Uh, I think my little gizmo worked. You guys know we've got the pool. Don't like covers. I've had to fish them out of there before. I understand that this particular cover that you can buy for this one has elastic and it's a little bit better than the rest. Sorry, I've been burned. Don't care, not going to. Um, it, enough of that subject. That horse has been beat pretty hard. Let's get into um, what I really think about this thing. Is it a fuel hog? Does it use more fuel than the 560? Nope. I think it runs right in par with the fuel consumption of the 560. Why and how? This one's bigger, but it's porcelain lined. It gets and keeps and holds the heat better. Um, it also doesn't have a huge gap that's open and susceptible to the wind that's coming in. It does have the overhang, but the wind's not affecting it just by blowing across it as much. Um, I think that helps to hold the temperature in, which relates to better fuel efficiency. Um, I talked about that controller for a second. I will say this, for you guys that have the factor one, do yourself a benefit, watch the, watch the other video that I did. I'll put a link in the description of the comparison between the Flame Boss, the Fireboard, um, the factory controller. I've even done it with the meter and the meat stick. And my controllers on both the 560 and the 1050 are exactly 50 degrees off, which means they're registering 50 degrees lower than what the factory thermostat is. The response from Masterbuilt, oh, you have a bad thermometer. Not the case. I moved the thermometers from one grill to another. Problem did not follow the thermometer, which if it followed, that would tell me it's a thermometer issue. It didn't, it's staying in the, it's in the controller itself. They just need to fix it. And that will fix everybody's issue from this controller for the most part, right? Um, again, not a big concern for me. And I have no plans on ever connecting this one back in and plugging it back in until the day I sell this grill or the day that it, it rusts and falls apart. And that takes me into how long do I think this thing is gonna last? Outside? I'm gonna leave it in Texas weather and I'm not gonna cover it. Two, three, four years? I think you can get four or five years out of it. It really does feel sturdy on the outside. I'm not seeing any initial rust spots on the outside, even a little surface rust from time to time on new products. I'm not seeing any of that. Um, however, what I, what I do believe will, will run into problems is right here, right? We've seen a lot of comments and a lot of discussions specifically on the internal 
uh, warping and the burn throughs and that sort of thing. I probably have 20 hooks on this thing on the 1050 now, and I don't have any issues on inside. So um, if you're doing that great mod, which I have, well, I say I have, I've, I've run two just little bitty uh, stainless steel skewers right through that grate just to make sure that I'm not getting clumps that are this big falling through, they'll let them burn through. Um, I don't see any warpage and I don't see any burn through so far. Um, I'm also running, uh, a majority of my cooks have been between 250 and 400, somewhere in there. Um, I'm not doing extended sears uh, for an hour, that sort of thing. I'm not doing massive burn offs and that sort of thing as well. So that's just my opinion with it. I think uh, if we see any issues, it'll be in that, but I haven't seen any yet. Um, and quite possibly um, we will. Um, overall though, listen, this thing is fantastic. I've used it back to back. My biggest um, complaint, right? And, and I say this, the biggest complaint is why didn't the rotisserie uh, modification, why isn't it ready yet? What do you, Master, but what are you doing? Why, why was it not ready at release? I don't understand it. And I have the same complaint on Summit. Why wasn't your shelf and your bottom great? Why weren't those released on time? You're building this product. You should have all your stuff ready to go right out the gate. Uh, I find it unacceptable. You should already had that rotisserie. That's okay. I modified mine. I put my own rotisserie in, so you lost that sale. Sorry, I can do it a lot cheaper. The links are in the description of what I used. On the 1050, it's easy. I bought a universal bracket. I removed one of the screw screw holes that connects the, um, the railing. Plopped on that rail, you're golden. Easy, easy stuff. Now, I did put three sheet metal screws into the side of it. I don't care, it's not that big of a deal. Seal them up, they're fine. They're not gonna leak, you're not gonna have an issue with it. Um, and it's cheap and inexpensive. Um, the only thing I'd say is um, there is uh, a very specific uh, counterweight that you need to find um, because most counterweights tighten by the handle um, and you need a counterweight that will spin and you can tighten it in any position on the rod that you need it. Um, and you can tighten it against the rod and not tighten it um, a squeeze tight by the grip. Now listen, I say that's my only complaint. I'm just kidding around. Um, I'm happy that I was able to modify it. I wish their uh, rotisserie was ready. I would have bought one and I probably still will buy theirs when it comes out. Um, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Um, my main concern or my main challenge, I say, it's not even a concern. Um, it, I, just one of the things that I noticed with this is I don't empty and I don't typically empty the charcoal. Right, so I cook on it, close it up, let it sit and rest. The next day I empty the ashtray and then I come back and plan on um, cooking again. I don't empty those coals. So using wood inside of this thing becomes a challenge unless you plan on empty the charcoal out every time and then adding your wood and then adding the charcoal back. Um, I really like the fact that it's a chute and you just keep dumping charcoal and you never have to adjust it. Um, it just makes, um, it makes cooking with wood a little bit more challenging, um, especially when you want to change from cherry to hickory to um, post oak, or you want to change to any kind of um, different um, existing wood out there that you might use for your barbecue. That's my, my number one problem, um, is I want to be able to change from ribs to go to cherry, or I might want to go back to hickory for my other cooks, or maybe I just want to have a similar wood in there all the time. And if you fill this thing up all the way, you're not going to be able to do that. And so I, I, I think, um, it's an inconvenience um, and that's all it is. Um, so it's not a flaw, it's, it's not gonna prevent the, uh, the ability for this grill to cook properly. Um, I just find it as a flaw um, in my, my own liking, right? Let's, let's keep it from there. But listen, um, besides my quick little mods, you know, putting the shore power on it, putting the plugs in, in place for the fireboard, those are conveniences. I didn't need to do that and I didn't really have to, but I went we went like 10 days, it was really cold, and it was raining and nasty, and I'm like, hey, I can do this mod and sit in the garage, and I want to tinker, and it was something to tinker with, and so it was relatively easy for me. I put three onboard um, plugs in, I put a battery backup in the back side of it, um, put the shore power in, so I can stay plugged in all the time. If I lose outdoor power for any reason, um, I can. it will auto flip over to the battery, because the battery's plugged in. Um, and ready to go. So I'm not worried about losing power from there. And the fact that it's on board, 
um, or it's built in, I can just take the two power plugs, plug them right in, take the fan and plug it right in. And so my fireboard will go with me um, in and out of the house really easily. Um, the only thing I have to remember is to turn the fireboard off at night. Otherwise it keeps the watch going. Um, and it also uh, will run the batteries out of it. And so something to, something to watch and monitor. Um, you know, it, it, a lot of conversations on that internal temperature, the, the um, dome temp, as well as the temp and controls. Listen, like I said, and, and you'll hear me say this, and I'll say it for the last time, the controller, it, the way it reads um, temperature, something's wrong there. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as you know where your temperature is at your center grate. Um, you know where you're going to work with, and that's all that matters. Adjust it accordingly, and you'll be fine. Um, is it an issue as far as quality uh, control? Yes, in my opinion, Masterbuilt could fix that, but overall, guys, it really isn't that big of a deal as long as you know where you're cooking at. This thing stays steady. You set it and forget it. And that's what we're all looking for. Something, especially with a controller uh, fan driven device, you want to set it and forget it and be able to monitor it real easily. Um, these ribs have been on for just an hour in this rotisserie. Uh, I used to always do ribs in my uh, WSM in the rotisserie. In fact, that's one of my favorite things ever. Um, and so we'll see how this thing turns out. If not, the ribellator is going back in the WSM for ribs, or we have something new, and the video will come up shortly. We have the new spit on fire for the Weber Summer Summit charcoal. All right. So that's it for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. I hope you get outside. I hope your skies are as blue as mine. There's not a single cloud out there for us today. Okay, maybe, maybe a few, but really, it's a fantastic day. Get outside, spend some time with your family. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe and um, share, your, share your thoughts with us in the comments. Love to see them. I try to respond to them. My channel is really small, so I get the opportunity to respond. I hope you guys uh, have a great day. Thanks. Love you.